Good morning, good morning, good morning, precious people, good morning, and welcome to Ignite on this beautiful morning. Ignite is the prayer platform of the Elevation Church where we come together every morning from Monday to Friday to join in um, devotional prayer, the study of the word, and just, you know, spend time, you know, um, sharpening ourselves as we pray. And it's my honor, it's my privilege to in, to um, welcome you today because I know that um, God ho always has great things in store for us. And my expectation is that as you've joined in this morning, you will put all distractions aside. Um, if you've just woken up this morning, I want you to please put all distractions aside um, and ensure that you plug in today. Um, the, um, the expectation of God's heart, I've talked about your expectation. Um, the expectation of God's heart is that, you know, you will fellowship. He will fellowship with you today. He has something um, in his heart, something in his mind that he wants to drop and deposit in your spirit. So I ask that you put every distraction away and that you spend um, these moments, you know, to just focus on what it is that God has for you today. Um, we love to start our meetings, um, you know, just thanking God and just thanking him for all he has done, praising him for who he is, you know, and how he has just been a blessing. So that really is where we're going to launch off from today. But I just want to remind someone before we do so that if you have a testimony that you'd like to share with us, please, please, please go ahead and share it, you know, share it in the Q&A, share it in the um, comment section, share it, you know, in the chat room, whatever platform you're connecting from this morning. If you're connecting on MixLR today, welcome. If you're connecting on Zoom today, you're so very welcome. If you're connecting on YouTube, thank you for joining in and welcome. My prayer indeed is that you will meet with God and you will have tangible, tangible testimonies um, of having met with God today in Jesus' name. So please don't forget something that God has done for you in the last while, something that God has done for you yesterday over the Easter resurrection weekend. Please go ahead and share it with us. Someone needs to be ignited by your testimony. So please share. It's the second day of April. Can we just launch out today in exuberant praise and thanksgiving? We bless you, Lord, for you are holy. You are holy. And forever you are God. Forever and ever. We bless you, Lord, for you are holy so holy and forever you are lord and forever you are god hallelujah 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 you are god hallelujah you are god hallelujah Hallelujah, you are Lord. Oh, I bless you, Lord, for you are holy, holy Lord, and forever you are Lord. Come on, someone, bless him. I praise you, Lord, for you are holy, holy Lord, and forever you are God. Forever you are Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You are God. Hallelujah. You are God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are God. Father, we enter again into this time of praise, into this time of prayer. 
with thanksgiving upon our lips. Lord, we acknowledge that you are faithful and you are good. You are kind and there is no one like you. And Father, we say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is someone grateful today for the goodness of the Lord? Are you grateful today for the greatness of his majesty? He took you through January, through February, through March, and here you are in April. Hallelujah. Does someone want to give him a triumphant shout? And all my life you have been faithful. All my life, all my life, all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, Lord, I will sing of the goodness of God. One more time. Yes, and all my life you have been faithful, all my life, all my life, and all my life you have been so, so good, with every breath that I am able, Lord, I will sing. Of the goodness of God. Does someone just want to use their own words to express your gratitude and your thanksgiving? You didn't bring yourself this far. It was the Lord. It was the Lord. It was the Lord that brought you this far. And all my life you have been faithful. All my life. All my life. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, Lord, I will sing of the goodness of God. One more time. One more time. And all my life you have been faithful. For all my life, yes, you have. All my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, Lord, I will sing of the goodness of God. Lord, I will sing of the goodness of God. Father, Lord, today we acknowledge, Lord, that your faithfulness, your mercy, your goodness, your grace, Lord, we are so grateful, Lord, that you have bestowed, you have poured your love on us. Father, Lord, we've been through this resurrection weekend and again, Lord, again, once again, we're mindful of your love for us. Thank you for loving us the way you do. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us the way you do. Thank you, Father, for making us the object of your affection. Thank you, Father, Lord, for the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. It is because of Jesus that we have hope. It is because of Jesus that we have a testimony. And it is because of Jesus that we can lift our voice and sing. How great you are, O oh God. Thank you for all you are and for everything that you do. As we gather again this morning, together from near and from far, both within this local assembly and across the different nations of the world, Father Lord, we ask that you will be exalted in our praise today, that as we lift you up in this place, and as we seek you, Father Lord, as we, as we pray today, Father Lord, as we intercede and as we spend time in your presence, we ask, oh God, that you alone will be exalted. Be exalted in our lives. Be exalted in our words. Be exalted in all that we do and in all that we express. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Is someone saying a believing amen today? Amen and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Another warm welcome to you if you're just joining in. Um, you're most welcome to Ignite today. And I'm, I'm so glad that you've chosen to be here. You could choose to be anywhere and you could choose 
you know, to do many, a great many things, but you've chosen to be in the presence of God this morning. And I honor you. I celebrate your choice. And I know that the Lord our God is well pleased in your choice to be found in his presence today. God bless you. God bless you. We're praying, we're praying. And the subject of our prayers to all this week is refreshed and revived. Isn't it an amazing thing to come into a new month, into a new season with a shout of praise? Well, today I want to declare over you that you are refreshed and you are revived. And as we, as we enter into that groove of refreshing and revival, I want you to know that new seasons, every time you come into a new season, every time you come into a new day, it's a beautiful opportunity to engage with God in a new level, to engage with God on a whole new level and to just grab hold of him. You know, like you, like, like on a whole new slate to say, Father, Lord, show me something new. Show me something different about you. And my prayer is that God will continue to reveal the different, you know, the different layers of his love, the different layers of his faithfulness, the different layers of his goodness to you from season to season to season in Jesus mighty name. You know, Isaiah 32 and verse 15 tells us that um, until the spirit is poured upon us from on high. And the wilderness becomes a fruitful field, and the fruitful field is counted as a forest. Hallelujah. This talks about a manifestation of the Holy Spirit. It says that when the Holy Spirit is poured out upon us on a particular dimension, what then happens is that what looked like a wilderness then becomes a fruitful field. Is someone saying amen right there? Because I don't know what it is in your life that maybe may have resembled a wilderness. Maybe it looked dry. Maybe it looked broken. Maybe it looked forgotten. Maybe it looked forsaken. He said, whatever resembled a wilderness, when the spirit is poured upon us from on high, the wilderness then becomes a fruitful field. And I declare over you that fruitfulness will begin to spring forth, will begin to spring forth, will begin to spring forth concerning your business, concerning your home and in every area of life where you're trusting God for a refreshing right now. And then it goes on to say that even if you're in a season of fruitfulness right now, you're not exempted from this um, scripture. He's saying, yes, there's one dimension where maybe there's some things that look like a wilderness and they need that touch of refreshing and revival so that they then begin to look like a fruitful field. So, but even if you're in a fruitful season, even if you're fruitful field, you're married, you're celebrating one seed or the other, maybe you have a business and it's doing okay. He said, even then, even then, a fruitful field can be counted as a forest when that spirit is poured upon us from on high the bible is saying is saying that there is no better yesterday as far as god is in the picture and as far as the holy spirit is allowed you know to breathe upon that situation if it was a wilderness he said the wilderness will become a fruitful field he said even if it is a fruitful field ha, ha, ha. he said the fruitful field can be counted as a forest you are going higher you are going higher. You are advancing. You are going stronger in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare in this season that there will be a season of strength and renewal and refreshing for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I love the scripture in Isaiah 44 and verse 3. Here the Bible is promising us. God is saying, I will pour water on him who is thirsty. Is anyone thirsty in the room today? In the Zoom room, in the YouTube room, in the Mixellar room? Is anyone thirsty today? He says, I will pour water on him who is is thirsty and floods on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon your descendants and my blessing. I will pour it on your offspring. I'll go on and read verse four. He says they will spring up among the grass like willows by the water courses. He's saying that, look, have you ever gone to look at a stream? I don't know how many of us have had the privilege to actually walk by a stream or any body of water. You know, a permanent body of water, not just like a puddle that comes when the rain falls. But I'm talking about a stream, a flowing stream, a permanent body of water. You know, it's not difficult to see grass growing around the stream or lilies, you know, just, you know, those water plants. It is, it is an aberration not to find grass 
not to find little flowers and little, you know, little plants around, you know, a body of water. He's saying that is how you will spring up. He says they will spring up among the grass like willows by the water courses. He said it will be an aberration for there to be dryness, for there to be, you know, um, a, a withered you know, um, tree or a withered plant around me. He said, because in my presence, it's water. There is water in my presence and it's the water of refreshing. I will pour that water on him who is thirsty, he says. I will flood every dry ground, he said, and I will pour my spirit upon your descendants and my blessing on your offspring. My prayer for you is that you will see the tangible expression of this scripture in the mighty name of Jesus, that in your life, that in your circumstances, in your situations, all around you, in your family, everything that concerns you will enjoy this testimony. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So is someone trusting God this morning for a refreshing? Is someone trusting God this morning for a revival? Is someone trusting God that there will be an endowment, that the Spirit will be poured forth? Hallelujah. And whatever looks like a barren wilderness, it will be turned into a fruitful field. And even where there was a fruitful field, hallelujah, if your marriage is good, it can be better. If your children are great, they can be greater. Hallelujah. If you have joy, you can move into an abundance of joy. Whatever the area of life right now where you are engaging this morning, I want you to trust the Lord that every fruitful field will be counted as a forest. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Can you go ahead and lift your voice today and just begin to thank God for his abundant rain that has brought a season of refreshing upon us. Thank God for this new season. This is the second day of the month of April. Can you just thank God and begin to declare that April is for showers, showers of God's presence, that April is for mercy showers, mercy showers upon your field, upon your home, upon your business, upon your job, mercy showers upon you, upon your head, upon your family, in the name of Jesus. Can you declare, 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 Father, Lord, we thank you for an abundant rain. Huh? Thank you for the rains of the seasons past. Thank you, Father, Lord, because we've experienced you in a measure. Father, Lord, we thank you because April is for mercy showers and we receive those mercy showers upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your abundant rain. Thank you, Father, Lord, for an overflow of rain. Thank you, Lord, for an overabundance of rain. Mercy showers, mercy showers. Thank you, Jehovah. Every drought is terminated in the name of Jesus. Thank you because dryness ceases in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord, for a refreshing and a revival. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Someone I want you to declare this morning, that in this season, in this season and the seasons ahead, I am refreshed, I am revived, and I am renewed. Can you make that your declaration in God's presence today? That in this season and in every season ahead of me, I am refreshed, I am revived, and I am renewed. Is someone believing God this morning and declaring it with a voice of faith, with, 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 with the conviction of faith? I am refreshed. I am revived and I am renewed. Thank you, Father Lord, for a revival. Thank you for a renewal. I want you to lift up your voice today and just declare. Lord, I receive a revival. I receive a renewal. Lord, that in this season, Father, there will be no dryness. There will be no dryness. I speak the rain of your abundance, O oh God, upon every area, Lord, where there has been a slowing down. I declare this morning, O oh God, that there is an abundance of mercy, an abundance of joy, an abundance of peace. There's an abundance of grace, an abundance 
abundance of your mercy. Refreshed, revived, and renewed. Refreshed, refreshed. For the Bible says in Isaiah 40 and verse 31, but those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I want someone to lift up their voice this morning and say, God, I receive, I receive a renewal of strength. And you see, you know those areas where you need the strength of the Lord to take over. For someone this morning, there's no point lying to yourself. You know those areas where you need the strength of God to take over. Say it in God's presence this morning. Let your strength take over. For every place where there has been weakness, I ask that the strength of the Lord will carry me. That the strength of the Lord will take over. You see, there's a strength that comes when we understand that it is not by power and it is not by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is the agent of revival. The Spirit of the Lord is the agent of refreshing. So this morning, I want someone to engage with the Spirit of the Lord. Say, Holy Spirit, refresh me. Holy Spirit, revive me. Holy Spirit, renew me. For the Bible says, if the same Spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead is alive in you, he will rejuvenate your mortal body. Rejuvenate means it will bring it back to life again. It will re-energize it back again. It will bring a refreshing in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I receive strength for every weakness. Strength for every weakness in the name of Jesus. In the places of God. Where my strength has been low. Where my strength has been low. This morning I engage with your power. I receive a refreshing. I receive a revival of strength in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Can I hear you say amen and amen? Hallelujah. We're still praying. We're still praying on the theme refresh and revive. You know, there are seasons in life where you know you do need a refresh. You know that, you know, you don't know what it is, but you are just, you're just, you're just, you're just done with this particular season. You are ready for something new. There's a man the Bible describes as Jabez who must have gotten to that point. You know, he must have gotten to that point where he said, look, I just need something new. I just need to be refreshed. I need a revival. I'm tired of what, of where I was before. Where I was may not have been so bad, but I know it can be better. The Bible says in 1 Chronicles chapter 4 and verse 9, now Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bore him in pain. He had a name that described where his mother was. He had a name that described what his mother was going through. He had a name that described the pain his mother was carrying. Let me tell you, if you are constantly stuck to the pain of the past, you cannot be refreshed. You cannot be revived and you cannot be renewed. But Jabez said, enough is enough. I'm divorcing myself from the pain of the past. The Bible says in verse 10, and Jabez called on the God of Israel saying, oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. This morning, I want someone to engage this morning with a prayer like Jabez's prayer. You want revival. You want a refreshing. You want something new. I want you to engage in this place of prayer and say, Father, let the revival start with my prayer altar. Let the revival start in the place of my intimacy with you. Give me, Father Lord, 
grace for a deeper and a more intimate relationship with you in this season. That I, as, as I grow in intimacy with you more than ever before, Father Lord, it will overflow and it will transform every area of my life. Can you lift up your voice and pray? Say, Father Lord, huh, that you would bless me indeed. Huh? In every place where I'm still stuck huh, to issues I need to leave behind. In every place, Lord, where I'm still stuck huh, to dead things and dead works and dead experiences. As amazing as yesterday's triumph was, it's time to press on into the new. It's time to look ahead to what God is doing in the future. Can you say, Father, oh, that you would bless me indeed. I ask for a revival. Revive me once again. Refresh me once again. In my walk with you, in my talk with you, in my relationship with you. Lord, I want something deeper. I want something deeper. This revival, Lord, let it start in the place of my intimacy with you. That as I come to pray, that every time I come to study the word, oh God, there will be streams of refreshing, springs of water bursting forth in the name of Jesus. Revive me, O oh God. Reba se prukushtene nene mambra kaba satata. Lem prukushtene nene nene mambra kaya tata. A closer walk with you is what we ask, Father Lord. That as we step into the month of April, that as we step into this month of April, mighty God. Shembri kata tabo se prukushtana na mambre keba ba si prukushtene nene mamba ba. Lord, reka ba sata. That we will step into a closer walk with you. That we will step into a deeper, more intimate walk with you in the name of Jesus that will put away everything that distracts will put away everything that slows down speed in the name of Jesus Pray, pray, pray this morning, huh? that more than ever before, you will enjoy times of refreshing in his presence. That when you come into his presence, it will be, it will be a time of refreshing. Every time you step into his presence, that there will be refreshing. There will be no dryness in the name of Jesus. I want you to receive grace this morning to spend time with the Lord in prayer, in communion, in studying the word. That the Holy Spirit will continually energize your time with the Father. Let the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit constantly be with me. Let it always be a sweet communion, a joyful communion, an intimate communion. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. I hope you're still praying. I hope you're still praying. We're praying for a refreshing and we're praying for a revival. You know, there are times that, you know, um, you've been in a season. You've been in a season and just like we said before, Jabez was in a, in a season and he was just tired. He was just tired of that season and he wanted something different. And he came to God and he just poured out his heart to God. And the Bible says that God granted him his request. But, you know, there are seasons that, you en that we enter into. We enter into seasons from time to time where God wants to use the season to cause correct us. So we are due for a refreshing. We're due for a revival. But in order for that revival to manifest, God needs to remove certain things from us, whether an attitude or a behavior or a particular line of action, a habit. Look at Hagar. The Bible says concerning Hagar in Genesis 16, she was running away from her mistress. Let's, let's first establish the fact that Hagar was in a situation that was not of her choosing. She was just on her own when Abraham and Sarai decided to use her as a surrogate. 
But be that as it may, she ran away from the house when she was carrying Ishmael. And God met her along the way and he confronted her with a question. Genesis 16 and verse 7. Now the angel of the Lord found Hagar by a spring of water in the wilderness, by the spring on the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, where have you come from and where are you going? When God asks you a question like this, it's not because he doesn't know the answer. It's because he wants to bring you into a revival and he wants you to be aware of it. She said, I'm fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sarai. And this is what God said to her. This is what the angel of the Lord said to her. He said to her, return to your mistress and submit yourself under her hand. Then the angel of the Lord said to her, I will multiply your descendants exceedingly. He said, it won't be a small blessing. It's a big blessing that's coming. I will multiply your descendants exceedingly so that they shall not be counted for multitude. And the angel said to her, you're with child. You will bear a son. You will name him Ishmael. God has heard your affliction. And then he goes on to tell him the details of this um, son's life. Verse 13. Then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees. For she said, have I also here seen him who sees me? Hagar went back and did what the Lord said. He had to fix her character. He said, submit to your mistress. This is how you will enjoy this revival and this refreshing that is coming. I don't know what it is that God may be saying to you about the next month or maybe the next week, or the next half year. Maybe there's a specific instruction he's giving you concerning your attitude, concerning your character, concerning a habit that you need to lay aside, like a weight that is slowing you down. He told Hagar, go back and submit. And that was the agent of revival that she needed. Will you lift up your voice and say, Father Lord, every agent of revival that I need in this season to press into my new level, Father, reveal it to me. Open my eyes to see it. And just like Hagar, help me to submit to it in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, Lord, if it is pride that is keeping me from entering into my new season, Father, I, 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 I give it to you today in the name of Jesus because nothing must stop me from entering into my new level. Nothing can stand in the way of my next level. I choose to lay it aside. I choose to lay down every weight and every sin that easily besets me so that I can run with endurance. We're still praying for a revival and a refreshing. But this morning, we are choosing her to engage with the agents of revival that God wants us to engage with. For someone, huh, what was that last instruction that God gave you that you've been struggling with for a while? Maybe it's to forgive someone. Maybe it's to let an offense go. And God is saying, I need you to yield. I need you to yield. I need you to give that pride into my hands. I need you to give it into my hands and let me lift you higher. Can you yield to him this morning? Can you say, Holy Spirit, I submit to you as an agent of revival today. Whatever you say for me to do, Lord, I will do it. Give me grace to do what you've said to do in Jesus' mighty name. Rabbe Babra Kasata. Kaya. Hagar enjoyed a revival. Huh? She went back um, and she bought that son called Ishmael. Huh? And we know the story. By the time she was finally leaving Abraham's house, many years later, she, did, she, was, she wasn't small and she did not leave empty. She left with a blessing. Can someone lift up their voice today and say, Father, I engage with every agent of revival that you have placed in and around me. I am renewed. I am revived. And I am restored in the name of Jesus. I will not be small. I will not be stuck. I will not be confused about the next step to take. I am revived. I am reviewed, re revived and renewed in the name of Jesus. 
decree and declare that just like confusion came to an end for Hagar, confusion comes to an end for you in the name of Jesus. You step into a new season. Your family will step into a new season. Can we pray this prayer over our children? And even if you're not married and even if you don't have a own biological child right now, can we sow a seed of blessing over our children right now? Hagar was carrying a precious seed and she needed specific instructions about making sure that that seed was birthed in Abraham's house. This morning, I want us to speak concerning our seed, the next generation, the children, the teenagers, and declare concerning them that they themselves will not be confused about direction in life, that there will be a revival for them even now, even now in the name of Jesus. None will be stuck. None will be confused. The prince of this earth will not stop steal her, their glorious destiny in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare over our children, over the next generation, Lord, that there will be a revival even for them in the name of Jesus. When we receive a revival and a refreshing, we're not just receiving it for ourselves. Father, Lord, we declare over our offspring, we declare over our children, we declare over our young adults, we declare over our teenagers, as oh God, that they are revived even now in the name of Jesus. For everyone, Father Lord, of them that needs clear instructions on the next steps in life and destiny, Lord, we receive a revival. The Bible says Hagar met the one, and she said, is it, is it possible that I have seen the one who sees me? Lord, our children will see some Something different in this season in the name of Jesus. They will see you for themselves. They will gain a revelation of who you are, the God who revives, the God who renews, the God who refreshes in the name of Jesus. We receive mercy showers for our children. We receive mercy showers for our teenagers. We receive mercy showers, oh God, even for everyone right now, trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We receive a refreshing, Father Lord, upon husbands, upon wives, that wombs come alive in the name name of Jesus shembri kalante re bosto no 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 mosi abrakatata shere bosi atatakaya ya embri kasatakaya breathe life oh god upon every thirsty one every thirsty ground every thirsty person oh god in the name of Jesus shebri katatakaya let scales fall from the eyes of every one of our children who needs to see you for who you are in the name of Jesus let revelation come. Let revival come. Let a renewal come. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Can we go ahead right now and just declare that the Lord will quench every thirst that we are experiencing right now with his living word, the living water that comes from his word. Declare that God's word will take root in our lives and flourish in the name of Jesus. There's something powerful that happens when God's word takes root in us. Ah, yeah, Jesus said, if you abide in me and if my words abide in you, ah, you will ask what you will and it will be done for you. He says, you will not be fruitless. You will not be fruitless as long as you abide in me and my words abide in you. Can we declare this morning, God, your word abides in us. Your word flourishes in us. It takes root and it brings forth fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you also declare that uh, for everyone this morning that needs a fresh breath of life, that the Holy Spirit will breathe fresh life into our hearts. Receive a revitalization in your mind. Uh, say mental faculties be revived. Uh, spiritual faculties be revived. Emotional faculties 
be revived in the name of Jesus. There's someone this morning for you. Maybe what you need, the revival you need is in the place of your emotions. Your emotions have just felt so dry in the last while. And you know you need a fresh wind of the Holy Spirit. Can you receive that revival in your emotions right now? In the name of Jesus. Where your emotions have been flat. Where it has been difficult for you to drum up any excitement about anything. Can you say that prayer in God's presence and say, Father, revive Revive me emotionally, revive me mentally, revive me spiritually in the name of Jesus. And for everyone right now who maybe feels like you may be experiencing a burnout on, you know, on any level, huh? the Bible says he gives beauty for ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning. Can you receive that divine exchange this morning? Lord, I receive, Lord, I receive, Lord, I receive the oil of joy. Someone put on a garment of praise this morning and let that spirit of heaviness be pushed back in the name of Jesus. This morning, Father Lord, we choose to draw with joy. With joy, we draw from the wells of salvation and we declare that someone is receiving beauty for ashes, beauty for ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning. In the name of Jesus, no exhaustion, no burnout. Someone receives strength today in the name of Jesus. For every family where it seems like joy, joy, joy has been missing. Father, Lord, this morning we receive joy in our families, joy in our homes, in the name of Jesus. We won't know how, we won't know why, Lord, but the joy will be restored. The way you restored wine in that marriage of Cana. Today, Father Lord, we receive fresh wine, fresh wine and joy in every marriage, joy in every family, a revival in the name of Jesus. For every relationship that has been filled with conflict and confrontation and anger and bitter quarrels, this morning, Father Lord, we ask that you will bring that season of turmoil to an end in the name of Jesus. Let your peace prevail. Let your peace prevail over every argument, over every confrontation. Let your peace prevail. Let the joy of the Lord gain inroad in that home in the name of Jesus. Lord, we sow the seed of prayer over every troubled marriage, over every troubled relationship, that there will be peace. Huh? We bind the enemy. Huh? We bind the enemy. That spirit of conflict. We bind you today. The blood of Jesus is against you. And we declare that there shall be peace. Huh? The peace of the Lord huh? will make its abode in that home in the name of Jesus. For business partners that have not been able to see eye to eye. This morning, Father Lord, we receive, oh God, grace to walk together and to agree. Grace to see from the same point of view and to make progress in the name of Jesus. You said, behold, how beautiful and how pleasant it is for brethren to walk, dwell together in unity. Today, Father Lord, we receive unity, that bond of unity in the name of Jesus. Let it be revived let it be revived once again. Let it be refreshed once again. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, can we just take a moment to thank God for the Easter weekend that we've just had from the night of increase on Friday to um our uh, services on Sunday, for every life that was saved, for every testimony that was recorded, and for every celebration that we had on Monday, yesterday. Can we just take the time to just give God thanks? Give God thanks once again for the significance of the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus. It's because of Jesus that we have access to this refreshing. Can we just take the time to say, Eshe, Eshe. It's a Yoruba song and it simply means thank you, God. One more time, let's sing it. 
Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus. It's only because of Jesus' sacrifice that we even have access with boldness to come into your presence like this, with sins washed away, with forgiveness, Lord, that, that we could not buy with money, with confidence that you hear us and that you hear every petition of our hearts. Thank you, Lord, for the sacrifice of Jesus. Thank you for all the services that held in the Elevation Church across the different expressions, across the nations of the world this past weekend. Lord, we say thank you, thank you, thank you for Jesus. Thank you again for salvation. Thank you for your precious Holy Spirit. Thank you for everything that belongs to us because, because we are members of your family. We are so grateful today. We give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. Can we lift up our voice and just thank God again for our country, Nigeria, and whatever country you're joining from, I'd like you to sow the seed of prayer for your nation. Um, can you just declare that God is the governor and the ruler among the nations and that um, the rulership of God will be felt in our nations in the name of Jesus? For every nation right now, can we just declare, the Bible says to pray for the peace of Jerusalem because it's within the peace of Jerusalem that you will have peace. So don't get weary. I know it, it can feel burdensome sometimes, but don't get weary of praying for Nigeria. Father, we sow the seed of prayer for our nation, Nigeria, today. And Lord, we declare, Lord, that there will be a revival. There will be a refreshing in the name of Jesus. Indeed, no wind, no rain, the valleys shall be full. We declare over every government, every level of government, Father Lord, that you take control, that you will use Nigeria for your glory, that Nigeria will yet praise you and Nigeria will yet give you thanks. Mighty God, that Nigeria, you will wear Nigeria like a precious ring, on your finger, like a precious stone and a diadem, Father Lord. Nigeria will yet bring you praise and glory. We declare it by faith today in Jesus' mighty name. And Father Lord, we pray concerning the Elevation Church. Can we pray for the Elevation Church and just lift her up, that the Elevation Church will fulfill purpose, that across all of our expressions and across all of our church planting initiatives this year, that God will be glorified, that the Lord will, will build his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Father, we sow the seed of prayer this morning concerning every church planting initiative upon every missional community of the Elevation Church within Nigeria and beyond Nigeria's shores. Father, Lord, that you will, through us, spread the aroma of your precious kingdom, Father, Lord, that we will be a savor, a sweet-smelling savor of life, drawing many, many into your kingdom in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father Lord, that we will grow stronger, we will move forward, that the goodness of God will always be found in our midst, that as we continue to lift up the name of Jesus, lift up the name of Jesus only, Father Lord, you will be glorified in the midst of us, in Jesus' mighty name. You said, Lord, you will build your church. So build your church, oh God, build your church. We give it into your hands. Now, Elevation Church belongs to you build your church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it thank you mighty god we thank you for your goodness we give you glory and praise we thank you for a revival a fresh wind of revival we give you praise and glory in jesus name we pray amen and amen is someone saying amen hallelujah 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 it's testimony time it's testimony time. We love to take the time to just share testimonies of what God has done in the midst of us. So I'm just going to go through our messages right now and look out for anyone who is sharing with us, excuse me, a testimony of something that God has done in your life, um, whether in recent times, yesterday, last week, as the case may be. Um, Anyone who is sharing with us a testimony of what God has done in your life, this is a great time to type it up and let us see because someone someone will be revived and refreshed 
from hearing what God is doing in your life. Praise God. All right, let's take this one. I thank God for my healing. On the Easter Sunday, I woke up with serious body pains, headache, and flu. I managed to get to church and church pharmacy. I did my checkup and gave me some medications. Then a pastor prayed with me. This morning, I am well and I am fine. Glory be to God. Is someone giving God praise and glory for that precious testimony? Thank you, Father, Lord, for healing our brother, oh, Muyosola, for healing our precious, precious sister. Thank you, Father, for this amazing testimony of your goodness. Lord, you will multiply testimonies of healing and renewal of strength. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for sharing that. I thank God for my brother and his family. Their relocation was successful. Also, I thank God for a friend whose daughter pressed the brake of the car and hit another car triumphantly. No lives were lost or injured. Only the vehicle was damaged. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Thank you for preserving this life. We are grateful. Thank you, Jehovah. Join me in praising God Almighty for his love and his grace upon my family and I. Today is my son, Ife Oluwa, Oluwa Mikpo, Jaden's birthday. Thank you, Lord, for your hands of favor upon him. Lord, may it be unto him as it is written in the book of Isaiah 60 and verse 3. Nations shall come to his light and kings to his shining brightness. He shall be all God destined him to be, and he shall continue to soar on eagles' wings in Jesus' name. We pray this concerning your son, Ife, and we declare this by, you know, just by extension over everyone who is celebrating a birthday today. We declare over you that kings will indeed come to the brightness of your arising. You will be a shining light in this generation. Everything that God has proposed and destined you to be, you will attain it. You will achieve it. You will enter into it in Jesus' mighty name. We declare concerning you, you soar on eagle's wings to the glory and to the praise of his name. Hallelujah. Someone says, thank you, Jesus, for divine mercies, for grace and for divine healing. Thank you for protection, for intervention and all of this. We join our faith and we say congratulations to you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Another testimony. I want to thank God for his divine intervention yesterday. Yesterday morning on our way out, I ran into the garage, into the garage door as it was rolling open. This misaligned the garage door's mechanism and it wouldn't shut. We prayed and God stepped in. Not only was the garage door fixed on the same day, but it did not cost us a fortune. Praise God. The children were not harmed. The car was not damaged, but for a tiny little scratch. I want to thank God, especially for not allowing the devil to rob us of our testimony in this new quarter. I'm coming back with new testimonies in this quarter. Hallelujah. I join you in that hallelujah shout. You are coming with more testimonies in Jesus' name. Someone says, I thank God for the gift of life. And the grace to be able to see this month of April. Not only will you have you seen this month of April, we declare that this month will be a triumphant month for you. A month of triumphing, of celebrations on the left and on the right. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Someone says, I thank God because I started my new job yesterday. I prayed for a new transition from the old to a new and i praise the lord because he made it happen thank you jesus i thank god for the revival of my marriage we bless the name of the lord i prayed to god to love and i prayed to god for love and closeness back into my marriage and the lord revived my marriage during this easter holiday i pray for continued joy and grace in my home in Jesus' mighty name, and so shall it be for you, in Jesus' name. We thank God for this amazing testimony. We pray that God will continue to do, even as he has spoken, 
He will pour water upon every thirsty ground. And that joy that you've testified about, it will continue to be on the increase in Jesus' name. Someone says, thank you, Jesus, for restoring our home. You took control. And in our shame, you gave us double honor. Praise the Lord. Someone else says, I thank you, Lord, for a successful presentation. Thank you for the blue chip that blue chip company that agreed to my request. Thank you, Lord. You will settle everything that concerns me in Jesus' name. And we say, amen, amen, amen. Someone says, the Lord healed me of backache that lasted for some weeks. The Lord took it away unnoticed. I didn't even know when it disappeared. Hallelujah. I love that testimony. The, the things that were troubling you, you won't even know when they disappear. It will be by the mercy of God in Jesus' name. I thank God for adding another year to my age today. We thank God. Thank God for you. Thank God for granting my daughter visa to study in the U.S., with full scholarship. What an amazing testimony. God bless you in this new year and may God continue to lift your daughter to new heights of glory in Jesus' mighty name. I'm grateful to God for what he is doing in my son's speech. It is improving. God is continuously at work. Praise God. I celebrate God with you, my dear brother. I celebrate God with you. He will keep on improving day by day, week by week until you come forth to testify that indeed God has perfected it. We pray for a perfection concerning his speech in Jesus' mighty name. So grateful to God for, for that testimony. And thank you for sharing it. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the success of a podcast I did. The views are growing daily to God be the glory. Praise God. I want to thank God for adding another year to my son's life. He turned 15 today. We pray for an endowment of grace upon him in Jesus' name. He grows from grace to grace, glory to glory in Jesus' name. I want to testify for God's protection over my life and total healing. Thank you, Jesus, for that amazing testimony. Thank God for my new job offer in faith because I know God has settled it. We declare that as you have spoken in God's presence, he will do so for you. I start a new job today, the one I prayed for. God answered me, giving me a job tailored just for me. God is indeed faithful. Oh, Father, we thank you for these amazing testimonies, all these pointers to your faithfulness and your goodness. Lord, we say thank you. You are the one who does these things. You are the one who continues to demonstrate your power, who continues to show us, oh God, that you are indeed a faithful God. And we are so grateful. Thank you, Lord, for giving us these testimonies of your, of your amazing love. Thank you, Jehovah. Let's take a few prayer points together. Our brothers and sisters have dropped prayer points on this prayer altar. If we continue sharing testimonies today, I mean, it will just continue to be a testimony morning. And we thank God for these beautiful testimonies. God bless you for sharing with us what God is doing in your lives. I want us to take some time to pray along with our brothers and sisters who have a prayer petition. Anyone who has dropped a prayer petition this morning, um, this morning, we're just going to stretch out our hands in faith. If you have the prayer language of the Spirit, I invite you. I invite you just begin to speak in tongues. Just begin to engage with the Spirit of the Lord. We receive an avalanche, an avalanche of testimonies in the name of Jesus that the power of God will touch everyone who is trusting him for direction, for direction, for favor, you know, for, you know, financial, you know, for financial um, interventions. Ah, Father Lord, someone praying for their husband's heart, that it will be restored to full capacity. Father Lord, we receive, we receive that testimony. You can do it, Almighty God. So today, Lord, we just place it on the altar before you. Breathe fresh life upon that heart, O God, in the name of Jesus, that this man will live to see his children's children even to the third generation in the name of Jesus. For everyone trusting you for, for permissions, trusting you for visas, trusting you, Father Lord, for scholarships, trusting you for promotions. Father Lord, 
we receive it in the name of Jesus. Someone is praying this morning concerning her daughter who is in school in another country, receiving the mighty hand of God that he will uphold her and that every power will bow to God in her life. This morning, Lord, we, we declare, Father Lord, that you will preserve your daughter. You will keep her. She belongs to you in the name of Jesus. She will feel your love right now and she will not be lost in the name of Jesus. Someone is desperately praying concerning their children, that their children will know God, that their hearts will be remolded, shaped and strengthened to long for God and to desperately pant after God. Lord, we pray this concerning every child, oh Lord, uh, on this altar today in the name of Jesus. As someone trusting God for visas, for green cards, Lord, we thank you because you yourself have perfected it. Thank you, Father Lord. Everyone trusting you for healing this morning, healing of, of any sort this morning, Father. We thank you for perfection. Perfection, oh Lord, even for marital destinies. Perfection in the fruit of the womb. Pro, pro, you know, um, um, perfection concerning every every matter that has been laid on your altar today, Father Lord. You said, Lord, that you hear the petitions of our hearts, oh God, and you will do all that we have placed before you. So God, we thank you today. We give you glory and we give you praise. Thank you, Father Lord, because indeed we will return, return with precious testimonies of your amazing love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone say, I'm refreshed. I am revived and I am renewed. And that will be your experience in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much for joining Ignite this morning. It's been a delight to pray along with you today. And my prayer for you is that the presence of the Lord will continue to be with you all through your day. All through your day, you'll continue to hear his voice. You continue to feel his warm embrace like a sweet hug in Jesus' mighty name. Don't forget, we're here again tomorrow, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. So please make it a date. And, and um, switch tomorrow by 6.30 West African time. Either join in in person or log on. And you will be, you will be, you'll be blessed that you did. Amen and amen. Let's close together the way we usually do from our, um, our closing charge, um, Psalm 1, verse 1, 2, and 3. Let's declare it as a prophecy over our day. Amen and amen. Blessed am I, for I walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But my delight is in the word of the Lord, and in his word I meditate day and night. I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water. I bring forth my fruit in my season. My leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever I do prospers. Go forth and have a prosperous, bountiful, beautiful day, month, and quarter in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Have a fantastic April. God bless you.